Join Grandma Mary for incredible edible art for kids and learn how to take things like carrots, celery, pasta, marshmallows, pretzels, and make beautiful and yummy art. Hi, I'm Grandma Mary, and welcome back to Incredible Edible Art for Kids. Today, we are doing pasta art. And for our first pasta art, you're going to use your refrigerator, or you could use your dishwasher, whatever your child can reach the easiest. And you can see I cooked the pasta, and I've put it on the refrigerator, and I, it's all so fun, let me tell you, to stand back and just throw spaghetti pieces and watch them stick. And then we're going to move over to our next project is going to be on lasagna. You can either do your project on uncooked lasagna or on cooked, and I have a cooked one here. And our first one's going to be easy. It's going to be a stoplight. And we are going to make our top light red, and we are going to use ketchup. And you're just going to make a nice circle with ketchup. This might get a little messy, but that's part of the fun. So there's the red light. And our next light we are going to do for yellow, for slow, caution, is wonderful yellow mustard. And just take quite a bit and make your yellow light. Get it nice and yellow on there. And for our green light, we are going to use a little sponge brush and we are going to use pistachio pudding with extra green food coloring to get a nice green for go. And there is your stoplight. Now that was nice and easy. Now we're going to move over and we are going to make a rainbow. And this time for our first color in the rainbow, we are going to use salsa, the yummy red salsa. So there's the beginning of our rainbow. And for the orange, we are going to use tomato soup. It's just a perfect orange. And there is our orange layer. And for yellow, we're going to go back to our perfect yellow mustard. Starting to look like a rainbow. And for green, we are going to use yummy pistachio pudding. And you can even eat the leftovers. So there's our green. And I see a little pistachio nut in there. There's our green. And for blue, we are going to use whipped cream with blue food coloring, just a couple of drops to get a nice kind of a sky blue color. Beautiful. And for purple, one of my favorites, grape jelly. And there is our purple. I always tell you to be sure and just use what you have on hand too. And now we're going to move on to a pasta flower garden. And for our dirt, we are going to use strong coffee for one of the dirts. And you just kind of want to get it drenched on here. Again, a little messy. Maybe it's been raining. That rainbow could have warned us. So there is our dirt. And now for the stem to your flower, we have used green rigatoni. Again, I just dyed it or colored it in green food coloring. So there's our stem. And I think we'll start with bow tie pasta. And I did this in maraschino cherry juice. And that just makes a very pretty flower. Didn't even have to cook it or anything. I just put the maraschino cherry juice in um, a bowl and put the bow tie pasta in there. 
and there is your flower. Now for our next flower, uh, we are going to use rigatoni again, and I dyed this again in strong coffee. So we want to get lots of dirt down here, and it can be kind of messy. And just let it sit in the coffee till you get the color that you want. Get lots of dirt. And our stem again will be the green rigatoni. Just lay that up. And this one's going to be a little bit taller. And this flower, and this is bow tie pasta again. And I dyed this in uh, grape juice. You could also color some bow tie pasta in yellow food coloring and make yellow flowers. And there is that flower. For our last one, our dirt, is going to be yummy chocolate syrup. It might be fun to put a gummy worm in this dirt. So there is some chocolate dirt. And again, you're going to put your green stem. <clears throat> this one's going to kind of go over here a bit. And this flower is going to be your blue one. For like bluebells. And there is your beautiful flower. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your flower garden grow? And there is pasta art. If you had fun painting and creating with pasta, remember to subscribe to Incredible Edible Art for Kids and join Grandma Mary next week.